black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. Eat good, live well, stay true. What is going on, you guys? As you can see here at a different setup, not the booze in the back and all the weird stuff that you're used to seeing. We are uh, in my room. Welcome to my room. Uh, here I have a keto treat, keto delight. Um, Try to make it look as most delicious as I could, but we got a half chicken dinner, of course. Five breasts and a wang, and some cheesy broccoli. Give you guys an up close of that. Try to make this look as delicious as possible while trying to eat no sugar, sugarless. And of course, we got some buffalo sauce. So, new setup. I went to Ikea yesterday, da, 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 but we'll talk about it. I need to get to the food because my roommate who is dealing with the anxiety has just stepped out for a minute to try to uh, let me do this video real quick. So I'm just trying to bang it out and uh, get it done in the uh, proper amount of time so that no one's, you know, fucking with each other's vibe. I love cheesy broccoli. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Can't go wrong. Dishwasher just stopped. Perfect. Thank you. It might kick back on though again. Mm. God, cheesy broccoli is good. I don't do anything special to it. I literally brought bought Tostitos Tostitos brand um like queso sauce. It's just a little bit spicy. It's got a little nacho nacho sauce vibe. And just heat it up, pour it over. Quick, easy. Quick, easy keto. But yeah, trying my very best. Well, I've been eating keto hard, but trying my very my very best to make these videos that where I eat keto to look appetizing, such as that. Cannot go wrong with rotisserie chicken. Come on now. And you know your man has to go for the wing first. Bite that bone off. Full salve. Mm. This is so delicious. Let's try a cheesy wing. Mm -hmm. mm. Cheesy wing works. See, I hope the setup was gonna work nice. A little bit of new lighting. I got one of these crazy like Zach Morris 90s bendy lamps. It's pretty dope. Maybe I'll show it. Maybe I'll upload a photo in my community of my new setup, the community tab. Just to show you guys the new vibe. I think it's going to work pretty well. Ooh. Come on. So tender. Mm. Come on. Just a skim. I'm starving. I haven't even eaten since like two o'clock yesterday. I was like two o'clock today. I went out to Ikea with my uncle. He had to grab a few things. I had to grab a few things for this setup 
desk, chair, etc., etc. <sighs> Buffalo chicken. And, uh, you know, made a day of it. I ended up going for lunch. I got a steak. You can see that on my Instagram, Hoodie Noir, H O O D Y N O I R. So I had lunch, came back, and um, I'm the type that when I have a mission, like getting a desk built and stuff, and I go buy some new stuff, I just get it done right away. I clean everything up and I just have it ready, done with. I don't want to let it sit and knock it done. So I just, you know, banged it out, da da da. Got up really early yesterday as well, so. By the time like 9 p.m. rolled around, I was weirdly just toast. And uh, I passed out, like I conked out hard. Woke up at 6 a.m. this morning. Been up ever since, just doing my thing. Did some errands. But I bought this chicken last night, thinking I would eat it last night. It's never happened. So I cooked her back up. And it's fire. Clean your bones. Clean your bones. Yes, I'm drinking out of a Tupperware thing. Probably should have picked up some nice cups at Ikea. Mm. We also had an insane snowstorm yesterday. Like legit crazy, two like two feet of snow. It's wild. And me and my uncle were driving in it all afternoon, so we stayed safe though. Alive and well to tell the tale of how good this chicken is. Ooh wee. I'm sorry if it feels like I'm just like hammering through this, but I haven't eaten for 24 hours. And I'm legitimately like starved for this meal. going out tonight if anybody has ever watched the show below deck it's like a reality show of like these young people that work on uh, these yachts like in the Mediterranean and like in tropical places they're on these mega yachts and they're like um, they do these charters with like these bi like billionaires, millionaires and stuff. Anyways, this one girl who I know uh, got on this this past season halfway through. And I always liked the show like I was a fan of the show before I knew she was going on it. I've watched it for a few years. Me and the ex used to watch it. But, um, she, I swear she comes up in all my videos now. Sorry for that, but. Anyways. That's the season finale tonight of the show. And she lives in Toronto, so 
obviously the show's over and now uh, we've been having like viewing parties with like her and her friends but now it's the fin- excuse me finale so she's having a finale party as well as celebrating her birthday so it's like it's gonna be like a double turn up so I am going out tonight for that and I'm very very excited okay that's for last I love the breast for last actually I love the breast so much I'm actually just gonna pull these bones just from down here clean those momentarily scrape some cheese together hit it with the franks get all the every last meat I'm doing myself a disservice sorry guys there we go so yeah I'm excited it's gonna be a fun night I've kept it really clean lately in the last three weeks I've drank like once maybe twice so it's a special occasion. I'm due in for a good night. And this is me getting my base foundation base calories for the night even though I'm probably not even going to start drinking for another 7 hours mm -mm. man rotisserie chicken though I'm telling you absolute truth I did not expect it to be this good with cheese sauce but it is. Scoop. Cheers to the new setup here. Hopefully she good. Till the next one. You guys know what to do with yourselves. You gotta eat good. You gotta live well. And you gotta stay true. Peace. <laughs>